Genshin stands want to ruin Weathering Waves. Let's see how this goes. Uh, rewind because I got through like a few seconds of it. <laughs> Subscribe! I posted a video previously <laughs> nice. talking about why I was not very worried about the optimization issue. And just to let you know, I'm not a Genshin stand at all, but it's probably just a clickbait title, who knows. Um, I'm not defending Genshin in any way, shape, or form. I hate that game as well. I'm just trying to speak on the realistic side of things because Genshin was just the more iconic gacha since COVID. It's all about timing, man. Since a lot of people were unable to go to school or work or whatever because COVID was taking over, you know, the world, Genshin Impact was the game that took over a lot of people's lives and created a bunch of addictions throughout that time period for the past like almost four years now almost four years i think it the game's always been out for almost four years it's crazy to me and even i was one of them but at the same time i took a year break from the game after grinding for two years being addicted within that two years i've had my on and off cycles with the game love hate relationships but then i came to realization after the third year that i've just had enough of the game and no matter what I do, no matter how much I try to go back into the game, I cannot do anything. I cannot complete any of the story. cannot do any tasks, quests, whatever. Even farm for artifacts, even pull for characters. I just don't have the addiction anymore because I just don't care. But let's see what this regarding V2 rest is Everyone saying. that I know that has not had issues with Withering Waves has described a seamless, enjoyable experience who have had almost no problems and any problems they have had are absolutely expected for the release of a kind of game like this. It seems like to me, the game either works or it doesn't. And my genuine opinion is that there is a certain amount of this that is being heavily exaggerated. There are people who are happy. Here, let me see if I could run this at 70, well, no, no, 70, 720, 60 FPS because I'm running on a hotspot. I don't have Wi-Fi. I always run on a hotspot. For whatever I do. And also I want to brighten this up real quick. Having severe optimization issues. 100%. And I am not trying. Oh yeah. Weathering waves on mobile is just terrible. I tried it on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Which has like the 8th gen 1 Snapdragon. Which is like the recommended specs. And it has like 12 gigs of RAM. That thing still flops at max Trying graphics. To say that, that is not true. But I feel that the number of people that this is happening to is significantly smaller than it seems. And I also do feel that the level to which these issues are happening are either exaggerated or made worse by the fact that people don't know how to work with their systems. The reality about Wuthering Waves is, is it is on Unreal Engine, which at base is harder on a system. I'm, ju I'm just gonna say this. If it's ran on Unreal Engine, why didn't they put 120 FPS or even probably 240 FPS cap uh, for the game for PC users like there are people out there who can run the game on PC system But they want to lock into 60 which is what Genshin is on and I am again comparing them because they're the easiest comparisons at base Wuthering Waves is going to have higher requirements than a game like Genshin I used to play Genshin on integrated graphics without a GPU. I used to play Genshin on a GPU that I'm so sorry to hear that <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that bro Bro, even I looked up um, a chipset. It was the AMD Ryzen 7 and the fifth one. What was it? 5700G and the 5600G? Dude, I am surprised those are capable of running the cap 60 FPS with that chipset. It just had a CPU. No graphic card, nothing. And it worked just fine. I yeah. see people who have done it. I think she's trying to describe the 5600G or the 5700G chipset. This game with no GPU, but it has obviously been in potato crunch Dorito quality, and it has not been a pleasant experience. Aww. You are not going to be able to run Genshin Impact and Wuthering Waves the same way on the same system just by nature of the engines that they are on. Genshin is on a custom version of Unity to be able to run the way that it runs. 
And even then, Genshin has, still to this day, horrendous bugginess. And anybody exactly. denying that is on copium or straight up lying. There is yep, astroturfing going copium. on. Uh, astroturfing is a concept in which a developer or whoever will pay people or firms or groups of people to... If this is the only thing she's going to talk about, about the stands when Rune weathering, weathering waves, maybe this was a quick like, clickbait video. I think this is just... Uh, optimization concern. Go on the drama. internet and spread misinformation, lie, exaggerate, or make sure everybody knows all of the problems with something. People were going to Braxiphone stream and they were posting nice things about Genshin and then mean things about Withering Waves, and they were obviously boss. He had out hundreds and hundreds of them. I've seen this happen to a friend of mine, Maddie True, on her Twitch stream as well, where there were bots. Yep, I've even predicted it. Nobody is going to be quitting Genshin. Nobody is going to be quitting Genshin. People are still obsessed with Genshin. No matter how many games release after Genshin and are inspired by Genshin and want to compete against Genshin, Genshin was just the game that people go to after school, after work, especially during COVID. It was the only game that was the most iconic during its time. Still to this day, people will talk about Genshin. Even if they say they're quitting Genshin, they've had enough of Genshin. No. They are addicted. I know this. I know this because I went through it. I had an on and off cycle of love-hate relationship with the game. They are addicted. They're going to go back being sent to say a nice thing about Genshin and a shitty thing about Withering Waves. No matter how it, bad Genshin people, is, YouTube they're still gonna go back. From other content creators, and I have a high amount of suspicion that there is a, a bit of a campaign to spread anti wuba propaganda and make things seem more severe than they are. I'm not going to say that it's specifically Hoyoverse, but it is very clearly happening. And I- Okay, this is something I don't know about myself. I don't really get into the drama. I just see that people are talking about woo drama and all that, but I personally am not part of that. I'll say it right now. I am not a part of any drama. I don't get involved with any drama. I speak only from my experiences alone and mine only. I don't care what anybody else thinks or has to say. If it's not me involved, I do not want to be a part of it. I am only talking for myself. And people assume that I am part of the drama myself. Even though I'm just ranting and complaining. Because I'm just tired of games being the same dog shit over and over again. You know, like gaming has come a long way to the point where the innovation is just not there anymore. And that goes with anything this, these days. Like, people wish, and I go... And check this out on, like, music, for example. People wish that they can go back in time to, like, the late 90s, early 2000s, which I wish we could, too. This generation just sucks. Society just sucks in general. Life just sucks in general. It's not the same, and it's a struggle. Gaming is also a struggle because it's not fun anymore. I'm tired of it. It just feels like Genshin all over again. It's a Genshin reskin, and people need to wake up. It, it's fun. It, like There's some things in the game that are fun and all. I get that. There are a few tweaks in the game that just make the game even more fun than Genshin, but at the same time, it's the same experience. Okay, that's that's my I complaint here. I actually think that the worst part about this astroturfing behavior is not the fact that they're doing it. It is the fact that there are many people on Twitter and everywhere else going around seeing straight up astroturfing and botting and misinformation and spreading it <laughs> around mindlessly because they don't fact check and all they want to do is hate on the game and hate on the developer. I don't like Genshin. I've never been anything other than a Genshin hater as a content creator and that's never going to change. I don't like the game. I think it's full of predatory practices and half-assed measures and people will settle for that and you can still enjoy the game and I'm not going to like hate you for that. But I would not glaze this game regardless just because I don't like Genshin. But people will deadass not even try it and spread as much hate for Withering Waves as I tried it. I tried it. I tried it to the point where I got to 
the furry Bennett, the furry Bennett guy, the guy with the the um, lion ears and tail. You know, you you want to know how many times I wish that there was a skip button for each scene? You only get the the skip button for the unimportant scenes, but you get no skip button for when they have like a major conversation with a cutscene or whatever. I can't skip that. I really wanted to skip it and just play. As possible and almost like it borders on like propaganda because of their weird obsession and tribalism with Genshin Impact. And it's absolutely like mind blowing. And the reason that I refuse to go as hard on Kuro games out the gate and I've had people be like, well, you're just glazing, blah, blah, blah. The reason that I'm not going to go in on Withering Waves is because the game came out three fucking days ago. And they've been very clear and they have worked very hard and they put out constant hot fixes and patches to try to fix the issues. So I'm not going to have the same level of criticism that I would have for Genshin Impact, which has been out going on four years now and still has glitchiness and bugginess that is far beyond where it should be in terms of polish four years later. And not to mention the amount that it has entirely ignored its fan base. They have rewarded us handsomely for having to deal with their technical issues and have very clearly been working their asses off to fix it. So no. So she's telling me, you're telling me that the whole drama in Weathering Waves is only because of a optimization issue for mobile players. This is stupid. This is actually stupid for an optimization issue that mobile players can't even play the game. Dude. I wish it was a, I wish it was a different reason, man. I wish it was a different reason. This is kind of oh, stupid. I'm not like I have never I have never complained and whined and bitched about a game being unoptimized. I I go through it. I know that I've been through times where games just weren't on, like weren't optimized on my device because I didn't have the compatible specs. I just wanted to try, see if it runs. Because I'm a technical guy, I like to try to max out the frames as possible, um, tweak the graphic settings, um, refresh my RAM, uh, clear out my storage drives, and all that. Um, anything is possible. Just to try to see. I like to be hands-on work. It's kind of like working with a car. You know, you, you ha have to understand your car for it to run. There are things you have to purchase. There are things you have to fix for the technical issues to go away. It, cars and PCs are like the same way. If a game just does not work, I give up. That's just it. I, I should ju just definitely play something else. That's it. But... As far as the game overall goes, if I, like I said, if I don't do anything in my Genshin Impact game, doing, like, any of the story, like, main story, side quest, Archon stories, um, the, the friendship thing where you, where you go on dates with all your characters, um, what else? <laughs> even, I don't even do Spiral Abyss anymore. I don't do anything. I just go in and just... Chill and just play with the characters I have. I, I waste my time for about like 10 minutes or even less. I'm like, why am I even doing? This is a waste of time and this is like a 100 gigabyte game. If I don't do anything in Genshin, why would I be in Weathering Waves? Because it's the exact same experience with a few tweaks. It's their own style of a Genshin Impact game. Genshin Impact originated from... Um... What was the game called? Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. Zelda Breath of the Wild. But now, Weathering Waves originated from Genshin Impact. It's an inspiration for Genshin Impact. So, Genshin Impact was inspired by Breath of the Wild. Then, Weathering Waves was inspired by Genshin Impact. That's that. It's an inspiration, but at the same time, it's the exact same experience. That's my complaint here. That is mine. I'm tired of it. I do not want to go through this again. I'd rather play an MMO experience. I wish Tower of Fantasy was, like, very popular. I wish that the graphics were like Genshin or Weathering Waves. I wish that, um, like, the experience was like these two games, like Genshin Impact and Weathering Waves, but in Tower of Fantasy. I love the MMO experience for 
you know, Tower Fantasy. I want a gacha game to be, you know, an MMO. Because it's an open world game. Why are we not utilizing the whole entire map, you know? Why are we not utilizing the entire map and only have, like, one character in the map? To a max of four. And you can play multiplayer with only four people in a huge map. You might as well have true meaning to your map size. Give people a reason to go back and forth on the map and all that. And have, like, up to, like, a hundred people a server at that point. Like, custom servers or something. Like... Public made servers, whatever. It's, there's no point in having a mobile gotcha game that is open world that you only have one person in. It's, it's, like, I wish people could understand where I'm coming from. Like, a gotcha MMO, I know that Tower of Fantasy failed, but nobody really cared about Tower of Fantasy because, you know, they just weren't established as much. And plus, you know, the timing of it failed. The timing of it failed because Genshin was still popular during its time when Tower of Fantasy launched. No matter what, Genshin was just a superior game because it's iconic. It's just like Apple. Genshin is like Apple. It's the brand. It's the brand that makes them popular. Level of criticism out the gate that I have for a game that's been out for four years with a developer that is significantly more experienced and anybody who thinks they should are off their fucking rocker. Should it have been optimized better? Absolutely. But the level to which this has been blown so far out of proportion and people are touting it around as the proof that Wuthering Waves was never going to work, that it was never going to be a good game is insane. When the fact is that the game, when it is on the right system, works amazingly. They are obviously working hard to fix it and they have rewarded us handsomely. And I'd also like to point out... Yeah, that's the problem. Since it's supposed to be on the right system, that's when, like, that's the only thing that's holding people back. There are a bunch of games out there, a bunch of mobile games that are very well optimized for how they look and all that for a wider range of devices. Not everybody has an iPhone. Not everybody has the most expensive Android. Not everybody has like a Galaxy phone. Not everybody has like an Oppo or like a OnePlus or what's another one? Maybe like a Google Pixel or what's another popular brand that's very like very capable like flagship phone? Uh, I, I don't know, but there's a lot of people out there that can't afford, you know, a good phone. You know, a lot of people are poor in gotcha games. The majority, the majority of people are poor. But then you got those, you know, people at the top who can afford, you know. If they really want a wide range of audience, they either have to switch their engine and optimize, you know, the game for, like, low-end devices or two, um... You know, I, I didn't think of it too, but, you know, they have to sacrifice something. They have to sacrifice sun for, you know, ends to meet. It sucks, but it has to be done. Otherwise, they're really going to have a hateful audience and lose a bunch of people that potentially were going to play Wuthering Waves. Because these people, like, are addicted and they want to play something besides Genshin. At the same time, it's still going to be a Genshin Impact race skin. It's Genshin Impact 2, for crying out loud, and people don't understand. But, it, that's just me. But, yeah. They did not give us a 5-star as compensation. I, I don't have to worry about this stuff since I already have a cap capable PC with a 3070 overclocked. And then a um, AMD Ryzen 5600X, 32 gigabytes of RAM, um, 2 terabyte SSD, um... And then, an, and then another one, like a 256 gigabyte SSD that runs the operating system. Then I have a one terabyte hard drive uh, that just sits in there. And then I have a two terabyte S like hard drive external that I could just detach whenever. And then I have like a USB um, adapter for Wi-Fi 6 or 6E internet for the patches i want to read this to you because this does show how much they are listening and how much they want to please the player base after launch we received much feedback across all platforms and channels regarding the beginner's choice convene we are deeply sorry for the unsatisfactory experience the event has brought you 
Therefore, we plan to issue a special item, a voucher of reciprocal tides, which grants a free chance to obtain one five-star standard resonator of your choice via in-game mail. So they're actually giving us that five-star because of feedback regarding the beginner's choice convene. Where That's a bait. That is a major W under N. As much as it sucks to hear that there's optimization issues and there's a lot of players complaining about it and, you know, threatening, you know, to leave the game or just hang on the game in general, I got to give props to them for giving us a free five-star because of that issue. If, if a developer does not treat the player base with something that any, everyone deserves, something major, like a five-star, a free five-star, because Genshin gives the worst rewards because they know for a fact that players will play their game because it's so popular. They don't give a crap about what you you know, what you have to say or do, it's only the Chinese base, uh, that they will give a crap about, um, they still give crap rewards, it's not enough, it's like enough for like a 10 pull, but that's it, other than that, we have to keep listening to a game that we're not going to pay attention to, because it's designed that way, and then Paimon has to reiterate everything you had to say, and then reassure, um, so you mean that my mom doesn't think... Uh, okay, sorry for my voice and all that, because I was yelling yesterday. Um, my friend and I were playing Mario Kart with uh, his brother and then his girlfriend. Oh my god, I was yelling so much, because I really wanted to win. You got <laughs> I guess to people were actually good. Five star you got from Wishes. This is the developer we're working with. So no, I'm not going to have the same fucking energy when Hoyoverse and Genshin Impact has been putting out dog shit and y'all have been slopping it up and Kuro Games fucked up with optimization. I think it's vastly been over-exaggerated. The game does work. The optimization is a thing that happens any game. People need to understand that. It's nothing new. People go through the optimization issues on everything. Cyberpunk 2077 was a big one. That was one of the biggest ones that had an optimization issue. But they spent a long period of time getting that all fixed. And what do you know? The game is popular. Super popular. On, and people who are having issues are now having not issues. They care. And I will stand by a company that cares. If it's three months down the line, if it's six months down the line, and there's still a significant amount of players who have systems that should work that don't, yeah, I'll start rallying the troops. I'll start bringing in everybody, and I'll start yelling and screaming and complaining and shaking my fist at Kuro Games. But when it is three days in, and they have put in the amount of effort and given the amount of rewards for the issues they have had, I'm not going to have that same crazy critical energy. I will keep it up for Genshin forever, because they show how, how little they care about the player base. And there are so so many people that are literally, I have no doubt about this, just spreading around the same dog shit line about it being like Tower of Fantasy. Tower of Fantasy was an inherently broken game that didn't work basically for anybody. It was able to be hacked severely. People were not able to play the game, but it was also an MMO. In no way is this equitable to Tower of Fantasy. I am very frustrated with the choice of the gotcha community at large to over-exaggerate this and make it into the fucking apocalypse because they want to have this like weird the only reason why i mentioned tower of fantasy earlier was because a lot of people were coming in and just saying this ain't tower of fantasy <clears throat> cough cough tower, tower of fantasy in my comments section i'm literally complaining about the game not having you know everything that could make it a fully potential game you like a capable game like there's so much potential that genshin or Wuthering Waves could, you know, have in the game, but they're missing out. Like, it stresses me so much, because I've complained about it since Genshin. There's so much they can add. There's so much they can add, but they're missing out on it. Tribalism, dick-sucking shit for Hoyoverse. When Hoyoverse doesn't give a fuck about you, Hoyoverse has had... They don't. Exactly. Bugs. Thank goodness this VTuber just knows. She's woken up. She's already new. She already knew, and I knew. Like, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize how bad you're really treated 
where people could when you're giving all crap rewards game and you're not listening to they didn't compensate you because they don't give a fuck they just don't care kuro does i i care a lot about about this game i do i care that we have a game that we can love together and I care that people are in reality when they're talking about shit when they clearly don't understand it. It's not because I want to be sponsored. It's not because I'm a shill because shills inherently are paid for the game. I am not paid for the game. I just like to play it and it's a good game and I think you should give it a try. In my heart, this is a 10 out of 10 game because I have so much hope that this game is going to turn out to be so much more than Genshin ever had a chance to be. The only reason I fucking can't stand Genshin is because at a certain point, I really cared about the game and I really loved the game. And I spent a lot of time and a lot of money in that game and it just never panned out to be anything. Exactly! <laughs> She's just like me. She realized after spending all that time and money, it was not worth it. It took me two years just to realize that crap. And all I, I love her. Hold on, what's her name again? Hex Juice. Hex Juice. Hex Juice. Hex Juice. If you're if you're um if you're watching this by any chance, please marry me. Please marry me. Um, I'm a loner. We have we have the exact same take on this on this game, or I'm not exact, but you have an understanding that I do, and I love and I've fallen in love with you. Will you please go on a date with me and then eventually marry me and we we share uh, kids together? We have we have beautiful children that play gotcha games together. Hold on. Are you guys too I'm just kidding. I'm a loner. Nobody's gonna want me. I'm a loser, dude. I'm a, I'm a fucking loser. I'm a fucking loser who can't even get a girlfriend. All I have is my right hand and hentai and porn and all that. I, 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 I can't. I'm nervous. I'm a nervous wreck. <sighs> oh my gosh. I, 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 I've fallen in love. I never thought I would fall in love with somebody. Like, I never thought I would experience what actual falling in love meant. Has shown an incredible response. I love this woman so much. I've fallen in love with this woman so much. She is passionate and she has the realization. She's woken up. She stands by a video game that she thinks, um, you know, has a developer team that cares. She, she knows what caring it means. She knows when to quit. She knows what a bad game really is. And she's so got to issues. They have shown an incredible concern for community feedback and they have rewarded us handsomely for those who are having issues. If this scares you away from playing the game, you are getting filtered, stay away. But it's a good game. It's a better game than I've played in a while. I love it so much. And I, I think it is worth your time. I love passionate women like her. I, I love passionate women like her. It is worth your trust. They are innocent for me until proven guilty. The problem is, is that Genshin has been proven guilty for four years straight. And the fact that they are now trying to appease you with the most dog shit updates to Endgame, and y'all are excited about it is I never even got to see the new update live stream for Genshin, because I don't care. Fucking pitiful. But if you are interested in me just Kuro Doom posting 24-7, that is not what I am going to be doing. The fact is, is that people bitched about me being too negative, and then when I'm too positive, they call me a shill. Can we please just- uh, That's what I hate about freaking children on the internet. You can't please everyone. You try to be positive, nobody cares. You be negative, you get all the attention that you wanted, but in a bad way. But then when you try to be positive again, nope. Dick Rada! That's, that's how they are. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. But that's it. That's all I have to say. The community response has been absolutely abysmal. It's a fucking great game. You should try the game. If you liked Genshin, you'll probably like this game, unless you... I'm not gonna lie, she is giving reasons for me to go back into Weathering Waves. And I and I uninstalled the game within two days. But just hearing her out, 
I, I fell in love, man. I think I fell in love. I, I can't believe I'm actually falling in love with a VTuber. 